All right, guys, this is the secret to crown hunting that Capcom doesn't want you to know about. It's called quest cycling, and it takes advantage of an obscure game mechanic that has remained undiscovered until now. Now, most people believe that the chance of getting a crown on any particular quest is hard-coded. That is to say, it never changes. According to data dumps from the game, the best chance you have of getting a crown is typically 3%, although a handful of quests have much higher percent chances. And I'm going to assume you've already Already done those and earned those crowns already. For all the rest of the crowns, it appears the best you can do is 3%. I'm here to tell you that that is just plain wrong. After extensive playtesting, I've come to the conclusion that those hard-coded numbers are not the whole story. There is a way to boost that percentage significantly. Here's how to do it. First, choose your target monster and make a list of all the quests that give you a 3% chance for the crown. You can find these numbers on kiraniko.com. Now, there are more quests that give you a 3% chance, and they're now listed on Kiraniko. Those are the high rank expedition tours, and everyone ignores those, which is too bad because your crown may very well be waiting for you on an expedition tour. So you can find out which tours your monster can show up on by checking their known habitats on the large monster info screen in the game. Each expedition tour that they can show up on counts as a separate quest. So just a quick example, to get the Tetranodon small crown, you have four star Frost Islands Arena, four star Honing Your Hunting Horn, five star Shadows Over the Frost, seven star a Frosty Stalemate. And since he shows up in three habitats, you have the High Rank Shrine Ruins Tour, the High Rank Frost Islands Tour, and the High Rank Lava Caverns Tour, giving you a total of seven possible quests where you have a 3% chance of getting the small crown. Now, the second step is to simply start doing all these quests on the list. And you're going to keep track of how small Tetranodon is in each quest. You're gonna use screen captures and you're gonna use some item for reference, like a mega barrel bomb. Once you've cycled through the list, go back and check your screen captures to find the Tetranodon with the smallest size. One of them should look a lot smaller than the others. If they all look about the same size, then cycle through them again. One of these seven quests will give you an obviously smaller monster than the others. That is the quest that you're going to spam. Fortunately, it will only take a few more repetitions after that to get the crown, assuming you haven't already gotten it, just cycling through once. This has been successful for me ever since I discovered the method. Before that, I would spam the easiest quest and have zero crowns after 50 to 100 tries, even though the chance was at 3%. With quest cycling, I have not had to do more than eight tries for any given crown. So to sum it up, you're simply making a list of the quests to do and then repeating the quest that gives you a larger small size. So there's two issues you're likely to encounter. Number one, the expedition tours. Your monster isn't always available on them. And the tour may very well be a quest that is primed for a crown. So you have to have some patience here. I check the tours for my monster every time I come back from a quest until I'm able to measure my monster on each tour in the list. Now, the second issue that you're likely to encounter is reliably measuring the monsters. Sometimes it's hard to measure them based on camera angles or clipping or different death poses. So find a reliable method of measuring that works for you. A lot of people like to put the monster to sleep on flat ground and then place a barrel bomb on him for scale. If that works for you, great. It's really easy to misjudge monster sizes, so do not try to eyeball it. So that's pretty much it. Don't start spamming one quest until you've identified which quest has the smallest monster on it. If you've cycled through the list twice and they all pretty much look the same, this does happen very rarely, then move on to cycling another monster. You can go back to the original one after you've restarted your switch. So let me know how this works for you. Ask any questions you have in the comments. I will respond to every single question posted. If you work the system correctly, you'll have all the crowns you want in a fraction of the time. Um, good luck and let me know how it goes for you.